everybody, Steve here. It's a little windy out right now, but that's okay. This is our next project. Now, hopefully you saw me cut it down last winter. Now, I've got to remove this root. And it's early spring, it's early uh, April right now. And what I'm gonna do is, we still got frost in the ground here. So I'm gonna start digging up what I can with the uh, shovel and remove as much soil as I can. And then after that, I'm gonna use my vacuum, get in and around all the roots the best I can, cut them off, and eventually this thing's gonna come out of the ground. Now, this isn't gonna to happen today. It's gonna to be a matter of a few days. I'll take some, I'll work a little bit each day. You'll probably see the leaves turn green. And uh, it's gonna be a big job. But to get rid of this, it's gonna cost you a lot of money. So I'm gonna show you how to do it for free. All right, let's get at her. Looks like we're delayed for a few days. We had a snowstorm a couple days ago and the snow still hasn't melted. Just waiting for some warm weather. Okay, we finally got a nice day and it's time to start excavating underneath here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to uh, scrape away with my little scraper and then uh, suck the dirt up with my vacuum cleaner. It's gonna take a long time. This is a pretty big stump, but looking forward to it. It's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, let's fire up here. <laughs> So this job really only requires about 
four brain cells. So I decided to fire two more to see what would happen. And I come up with this idea. So I just uh, had this long auger bit and put it on the drill and now I can get way underneath and loosen up the soil and then suck her out with the vacuum cleaner. Works really, really well. Now, if you've got a little stump, you, you won't have to really worry about that, but uh, this is on the extreme side. Alright, you can see the progress. I'm getting quite a ways underneath that root there. And I'm actually underneath that big guy right there. And so I've got about three hours in now of vacuuming. So now I'm going to go deal with this side. See if we can get underneath that root today. Alright, I accomplished what I want to do. I got underneath the root. There's some uh, fairly serious tap roots right there. That goes under there. So we got it going on over here. And if you can see inside there, we got some more tap roots. So we're going to have to get rid of those. Make sure everything is uh, free. So that's the next step.
Well, we got underneath the stump pretty well cleared away. We got to do some cutting now, get rid of some of the tab roots. And now my job today is I'm going to start chasing all these roots. And the best way to start that, of course, with a shovel. And then what we want to do is expose any little roots that are going down so we can cut them all off. And at some point, you got to make a decision of how far and how deep you want to go. I don't really want to go any deeper than where the clay is because I am going to be putting some gravel in here. So I don't want to really disturb the, uh, the natural clay. So as far as, so whenever I get there, that's it. I'm just going to cut them off. Uh, it's not like they're going to grow back like an aspen tree or anything like that. So I'm not worried about that at all. But we're down fairly deep here probably a foot so there's gonna be a little bit of gravel maybe some fill I don't know I haven't got there yet still gotta get rid of this so let's get started on the roots
Well, I hope I got them all. I started cutting a couple days ago and wears the batteries out pretty fast. And I ended up picking up some, just some pruning blades for my reciprocating saw and they worked great. They didn't seem to dull that bad in the, uh, in the dirt. But you look at that guy. Look at how big he is going right underneath my sidewalk over there to my uh, foundation. And we've even got one right here. Look at that. Comes out of my, from underneath the sidewalk and goes back in. So, well, when we hook a winch onto her, we're going to find out whether it pops out. Something tells me there'll be a snake somewhere. But that'll be exciting. All right. All right, this morning, we just started screwing around, getting it ready to, to load. We haven't got the trailer yet. Buddy Gord came over, and we are jacking it up, making sure... We found another couple little roots here and there, but we got her up in the air now. So we're free and clear. Loading it will be another story though. Alright, All right, we're we're loading her up. We got a block and tackle on it. Dig in. Um, we got. We need another piece of plywood or something. No, we need something to pick this up over top of the frame here. And, well, it might just ride up. Well, let's see what happens. Maybe it'll just sort of bite off. Okay. And she went over top. I can't believe that that thing is actually going up the trailer. You can see Gordon in the background and the size. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I don't think the winch could have pulled that up without a block. I'm just going to get rid of this uh, strap here. Okay. Pulling pretty good, eh? Yeah. Way better than I thought. Seems to be working out okay. On the uh, Kevin's uh, trailer, we got steel along the uh, over there, so that helps a lot. Okay, what are we hitting over there? This one here, Steve. It's just it's gonna be give her a oh yeah, we're off now. Chopper? Yeah. Okay. Hold on, go to go on the other side. Oh, Gord's stuck. Now what about if you turn it and keep the big root there and just keep sort of turn it somehow and maybe chop some of these little stragglers off if it was this way? You know what I mean? I don't know what he wants to chop though. Well, yeah, however you want to load it, Kev. Well the big root's gonna you know yeah. the cool side. This here can be chopped here if we just turn it. Okay, well, we're gonna rechain and jig her up. You want me to try and push it? Well, we should be able to go with the winch cable now. 
What do you mean? What's that? That's about it. Well, we're up against my fender down there. Well, it should slide over top of the fender. Yeah, I think so. Oh yeah, she's going good. Here on this other side, though. What do you want to do with that? You want to cut this guy off? Well, let's. Uh, let's go. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I got her. Okay, we got a root over here. We got to deal with. That's a big one. That one. Is that as far up you want to go? Well, I'm not sure how he's going to undo it. You'd have to physically pick it all the way up in the air to get it. Well, he's got a tractor though. Can he physically? No. So he can drag. Yeah. Um, so we don't want to undo this so far unless we are going to chop two feet off of that guy. Yeah, okay. I don't feel comfortable him bouncing on my fender there. No, I think what we should do is block it up. Yeah, we can we can lift it up with a with a uh, Jack all and then block it, Kev. Or I can go another 15 degrees and chop a foot and a half off it. No, we'll block it up. You want to block it? Yep. Because that'll help it uh, slide off, right? Yeah. Yeah. And we're okay on the other side, eh? I'll we'll have to trim some stuff. Some trimming to do. Minor. Go up. Yeah, we're okay. okay, we're going to do some trimming and we'll come back and show you the final product. Well, we got her loaded. Blocked up. Now it's just a matter of strapping her down. It's almost like a sad day, you know? That root's gone. And now all I'm left with is just a great big hole. <laughs> oh, man. We didn't think it was going to load that easy. But we did it. Alright, I really hope to show you guys the... Uh, the final resting place for this and uh, just stay tuned and thanks so much for watching.